name is Carolina and today I'm going to present uh, my accessory brand named Atempo. Uh, I will go through a little bit of the introduction and the brand uh, and the mission. We, I will then go into some market research that proves where there is a space in the market for this type of brand. Then we're going to talk about the products, their unique selling points, the target customer and persona, a little bit of the trend research. We will also see a part of the brand narratives and uh, brand guidelines. Uh, we will then move to marketing goods and their goals and their measurements, sorry. And lastly, I will show you my marketing calendar, media mix, and provoke you around the six campaigns I plan to start. Uh, promoting a tempo products, optimization strategies, compliance, and then some extra campaigns for further time and budgeting. So... A tempo is a, it's a bags and accessory brand that has a multi-channel. This means it's an e-commerce and co-owned physical store that wants to foster sustainable products at the same time of raising awareness through minimalistic pieces. A tempo wants to offer and satisfy the customer demand for adaptable, sustainable, and good value items that have multi-purpose finals and can help you within the city as our customer lives in urban areas. On the market research, we can see how sustainability remains in the top of the mind of our consumers. Nevertheless, they need some visual guidance to identify the products and its qualities. These will be seen in our campaigns and how we plan them. And then we have some numbers of year-to-year -year increase in sustainable brands uh, sales. And we also have some brands to watch that are creating good impact on the market right now. And then it's something that we're kind of following because we're creating uh, same edits and same, same idea. Moving on market research, we have gathered some important information that is also part of our core brand and our products like recycling and circula circularity of materials. And we have H&M and American Express as an example that I encourage you to read further. And then we have sustainability as the opportunity to build local uh, retail directors inside the city so people can come and shop on their main countries. Uh, and places uh, and then these ones are the ones that are showing worldwide what they're doing around sustainability and innovation not only in retail products but architecture and industrial design but what does a tempo sell we have four main products that are bags we have the best backpack the division tote the crossbody and a market bag that will come and go with depending on the campaigns and we also have a small accessories our price range will go from 250 dollars to 75 for our bags and from 60 to 20 on our small accessories and then here we explained uh, three of them, which is kind of the most important one, the best backpack that transformed into a best. The division tote bag has a lot of pockets and the crossbody that can be used in different, uh, uh, different ways. So our unique selling points will be design. We're designing uh, products that are multi-purpose and the consumer can carry their belongings wisely. Our materials are two types of materials. We will work with recycled PET. There are fabrics made of recycled plastic bottles and also fabrics uh, left from other productions. And by buying this uh, leftover material stock, we will commit to decrease fabric disposal and landfills. You also have a lifetime guarantee, so you can send back your product, we will fix it and send it back. And we also want to be very transparent uh, and fair charging, so we wanna show our markups and we wanna kind of like educate people towards the fact that sustainability and ec like ecological products should not be that expensive. On our target customer, our demographics are female of male, age 26 to 35, mainly millennials. Single or married, bachelors of master degree, they, have, they are usually a career professional, the salary ranges between 50,000 and 90,000 and they lived in the Bay Area. Their psychographics are uh, like long lasting uh, pieces, minimalistic, modern, quality driven, techy, healthy. Uh, they like to purchase basics, but also key items. They care about the problem and their cultural travel focus. Their behavior are 50-50 online, on-site purchases. They like to go around, they like to try things. They they scarred curated local pieces and they dress casually uh, or streetwear. For their media preferences, they check Instagram a lot and they purchase a lot through Instagram. They don't use Facebook that much, only to keep in contact with people. They like Pinterest as a visual help and they read uh, magazines and newspapers. And then here we have our primary customer profile, which is, will be a female. Uh, that works in the city and uh, has to walk around and uh, carries a lot of stuff and our secondary customer that it's a guy that will use more like the backpack in our crossbody but it's also a person that buys and runs so it's always on the go 
And our consumer trend research, I am supporting why millennials are our main focus and they are in the age of group that are consuming more sustainable products. So we can see younger millennials and older uh, millennials. And then we also have a mood board with like some key items. And we also have some creative assets where I show we're going to have a website, we're going to have an Instagram, we're going to have a showroom. And then we have some assortment action keys that we want to communicate like uh, take chances with new brands. That's something that we mainly want to communicate along with sustainability. It doesn't have to be the main message. Trendy and style can be along with sustainability. We have the brand guidelines. We have a main logo. We have a side logo. We have some brand values like practicality, smart minimalism, multipurpose, sustainable. And then we also have uh, our color swatches and our uh, type. We have some marketing goals. We have weekly, quarterly, and yearly. For weekly, we have building brand awareness uh, towards the idea that sustainable is affordable and trendy and how opening Vimeo and opening our own site. We have increasing brand engagement and name recognitions and how we're gonna do it. Monitoring site traffic, social media recognitions and like, and likes. You also will do it by participating in local pop-ups and monitoring instant sales. The quarterly goals will be generating hard volume of qualified leads by sending mails, optimizing websites, sales points after users report, uh, build website mobile friendly, and create reports that compare website mobile and Instagram sales to see where uh, do we need to put our biggest effort. And then our fourth goal will be attributing marketing activities to revenue generating a generation achieving 1K followers on Instagram. How? Launching a strong social media campaign by making videos, contents, presenting our Kickstarter project, networking and hosting events. And our yearly goal will be reach 100 pieces sold of the crossbody bag and the division tote bag, achieve a minimum of 80% of support the best backpack, uh, the Kickstarter project and 300 small accessories. How we're gonna do it? building brand awareness, participating in pop-ups, hosting night events in our showroom, partnering with local events, and we will achieve yearly sales goals by transforming communication in cash flow. Then we have our marketing calendar. We have, I placed our main six campaigns there, and I divided the marketing media into branded, paid, and earned. Uh, that I will explain further. And then we have the media mix, and it shows by colors in which months we're gonna uh, like encourage or focus more on what. Then for the marketing media mix, in the branded media, I have email, Instagram posts, post on blogs, Pinterest page and album, sandwich board signs. And the topics that we will talk about will be sustainability, design, local production, fair trade, ecologic stuff, good materials, helping the environment, quality, lifestyle, and city events. For pay media, we have SEO and SEM. One is pay, why is not pay, but they're both related because we will create content either in our blog or for other things, but we will have LSI keywords and then that way uh, we want to appear in search engines faster. We will do a Kickstarter campaign, we will do printings uh, a few times a year in the recycled paper to promote stuff like catalogs and uh, business cards. For earned media, we will have free exposure with uh, um, contacting bloggers like Anniken in Sweden and Shermine in San Francisco and like others. And then we will do co-branding by Affinity. We will do cost marketing and then you will see that in our campaigns. We will do employee marketing. We will do networking events. So now moving to our marketing uh, uh, campaigns. Uh, the first branding campaign is to slow the change, keep the style. With this one, we will make two videos. And um, one, the first video is gonna be a man and the second video is gonna be a woman. Both of them are like a daily life, running around, putting things on our bags, uh, taking them out and like see how they're used and how functional they are. So the goals will be increasing brand engagement and attributing marketing activities to revenue. The cost of this will be 10,000. This will be an interactive media digital. The mockups are there and the KPIs will be video clicks and time on page. Who's the real fashion victim now? Well, it's our uh, second branding campaign and with that we will do blog entries where we'll, we'll explain uh, what the products are made of and then that's what we'll, we'll display circular economy loops and what we're doing to uh, produce products that are not increasing waste 
and then this will be go on our website the cost will be around five thousand dollars and for alternative media we have customized water bottles that are going to be with recycled plastic as well and the sleeve is going to have a message and the idea is to encourage a customer to be more conscious and to recycle in the right bin because then it's easier to recycle further into fabric and then it will reach us and we will make the product and the KPIs will be brand mentions and social media search. Uh, this is a sell campaign because we don't have Planet B. And we will promote the ocean bag during this campaign. And we have already a campaign, but whatever the bag, whatever bags are left, we will sell them and then we will give them a 15% off uh, on the bag and a free cable organizer. So the idea is to not uh, have a lot of leftovers and to encourage people to help the and support the ocean conservation projects around the world. The goals will be generating half volume of qualified leads, increase brand engagement, attributed marketing activities to revenue, and the cost will be to $2,500. We will not apply traditional media. We will have interactive media that we will be our website sale campaign and then we are not doing alternative media and this is how more or less the mock-up will be displayed kpis will be on site and online sales during this campaign and traffic lead to lead ratio by the change you want to be it's a promotion campaign and it will be buy one of these get any of these for 35 the approx cost will be 2500 the goals it's all the goals, but the third one, build brand awareness, increasing brand engagement, attribute marketing activities to revenue, and reach 100 pixel sales uh, of like everything, like the 300 accessories. Our traditional media, we will not apply. The interactive media will be email built to customers explaining our discount for this date. The cost, it's already on our Wix uh, website subscription, and the alternative media, we're not using any. The KPIs will be number on online sales, time span of page of each customer during our uh, promotion sale campaign before clicking on a sale. Then we have a fifth uh, campaign. It's called Small Companies Clean, uh, Clean Hearts. This is a PR campaign, an event. The objective is to increase positive consumer opinions by inviting them to know our products, to develop a community around sustainability in, product, in our products and their lifestyle. So, we are going to make a catalog on recycled paper. We're going to print it. We're going to explain what we've done during the year, causes we support, traditions we attend, and each brand, because we're a core a place, a, so we're sharing with the other ones, we'll have a section of their product displays, material sourcing, a, and prices, retail and wholesale. And the place will be our a collective store, the time, it's a 7 to midnight. The audience will invite local press, um, we will uh, multi-brand companies and representatives from companies that they like to partner with in the development of corporate products. And we will have some goodie bags that are uh, that have the catalog inside and it will be kind of like these needed bags that are super cute. <laughs> the goals will be increasing brand engagement, name recognitions with hashtag and sales, attributed marketing activities. The prox cuts will be 15,000, which catering, catalogs, goodie bags and everything. Our media channel will be the printout catalog that will be traditional to the attendees. The cost will be five per person, everything is already included. We will not have interactive media. Well, interactive media, uh, we will just like reshare everything. So we're not really focusing on that because it will be at the same time on Instagram, but we will have an alternative media. It's that in our catalog, we will give away customized clipper cards with the phrase because we did not have Planet B. And it's already on the on the cost of everything, and our KPIs will be corporate sales from this event, uh, what we can achieve, uh, uh, what we get in corporate sales, and engagement by tracking the amount of clipper cards used, because they will need to be activated to a code of the back of each car. And then for our sixth campaign, will be a tempo and friends of the urban forest. So we will do this on Black Fridays. A tempo will donate twenty. Uh, dollars to friends of the urban forest on each uh, purchase and then purchase can be made online and in stores from november 28 to december 1st we will have an option on the website where you can register to go with us and plan your trees if you feel like it uh, the date of the event will be in june uh, 
later the, the, the later year and and we will start at eight in the morning and just we will follow what the urban forests are doing we will provide snacks we will make may po blog posts instagram posts and instant stories and our goals are generating hard volume of qualified leads uh, optimizing website sales increasing brand engagement and attributing marketing activities to revenue strategy and our prox cuts will be eight thousand we will have a traditional media we will print out posters and recycled paper and glue them on the streets of like with the with the uh, project and our event uh, interactive media we will email our bill customer emails based explaining our discount for this date the cost will be already on our website and we will have an alternative media for each person that purchase we will have like a small plan and we will send it to them we will have this card and it will have it will have something that says here's a little bit of life thank you for choosing us and believing in sustainability products so it's a reminder because it's on black friday but then the actually uh, planting trees is in june so we will give this the choice and the idea is that the customer has the opportunity to uh, plant their, this little tree whenever they want, whatever they want as well, and remember, remember us. So the KPI will be online and on-site sales from November 28 to December 1. We'll have a special code and online engagements by click on Black Friday special tab on the website. Then we go to optimization strategy, the key performance. I explained them already on the, com on the campaigns, but if you want to um, read forward, this is kind of like an abstract of uh, all the KPIs that I'm using. On the compliance strategy, we have um, we listed a few principles that are and and will always be part of a tempo. That will be every purchase makes an impact. Avoid unnecessary consumption. Learn about the issues. Seek out a best buy and make lasting products. And with legal regulations, according to the Federal Trade Commission, there will be legal regulation that will fit. This will be the legal uh, regulations that will fit the most on a tempo environmental claims we will try and we will get certifications and when we pass we will display the certifications on our products and our websites and then also source reduction we will never promote ourselves as the clean it but we will explain exactly what we're doing in each campaign to be clean sustainable and eco-friendly and then for extra marketing campaigns, because we're running a little bit out of time, we will have the Kickstarter campaign that is to attract attention into the brand and its value by launching the riskiest product on pre-sale uh, on this website. Uh, we also have an opening showroom that it's a party hosted with like our other uh, co-owned brands. And it will be like a total event with alternative media. We will have Earth Day that it will be on April 22 that it will give 10% discount for customers who brings their own items to recycle, like their old clothes, and we will discard them properly. We will have Oceans Day that it will be in June 8 that we will give, a, we will launch a product. This is the product that will be launched and then, then it's going to be sold in sales, whatever is left out. And then we will give them a mug, a a steel mug to reuse so they don't use that many plastic bags and paper bags and they will get 10% discounts. We will have a video, we will have a, we will do our trash cans outside of our store where like people can like discard properly their trash. We will have a back to school a promotion that it's for every laptop case but you will get a recycled paper agenda for starting the year and we will get like a hundred for free on the holiday seasons we got we want to do something very cool that is a potluck a christmas party playlist uh, so it will be kind of like a uh, artist that a tempo want you to hear and and then yeah we will encourage people to listen to the radio Interactive Media Digital, we will do video take covers on Spotify already as we're using that uh, platform. And then that will be it. Uh, Atempo is a big brand. Uh, we believe in sustainability a lot and I think there is a big, big market and I know within San Francisco and it's time to start positioning this brand. So thank you for listening you can go back to the presentation and read forward and if you have any questions then you can totally reach out uh, to me and then we will discuss a little bit further what you thought thank you so much for listening